going on guys? Welcome back to Aussie Reptilians. Connor here. Been a long time. Um, but I'm sort of just trying to get back into the regime of things and uh, sort of get some more videos out there. But today I am, I've just set up an aviary here. This one behind me. I've set this one up because at the VHS Reptile Expo I have purchased a couple animals. Um, they're in here. Uh, and I've also got some inside at the minute as well. So, let's get to it. It has been a long time, but I have set up this aviary here because I have purchased some Cunningham skinks and they will be going into this aviary here. It's just a, you know, it's not flash or anything, but it'll do. Um, put a couple more hides in there, a couple warm boxes and whatnot. Um, but I've just set this aviary up for now for them. So I've got five in here, five Cunningham skinks. So I went to the expo, I pre-purchased some, and then these ones crossed, my, crossed me path and I'm like, yep, I am going to take them. So these ones are uh, sub-adults, I believe, um, from OCD Reptiles at the expo. So they're pretty cool. Nothing fancy, but I'm not into fancy things. So I've got five in here. There's one. They've been in the pop-up chameleon for a bit. There's two. Just while I set up this aviary. There's number three. Come on, buddy. There's number four. Here's number five. So for ages now, I haven't obviously posted any YouTube videos. And for ages now, I haven't been able to find any Cunninghams. So I tried me luck at the Reptile Expo and obviously picked up these five from OCD Reptiles again. Um, and then I also picked up four baby New England Cunninghams, which are inside, which I'll show you. Um, off, who are they, who are they, who are they? Get Sloth Reptiles, that's them. Forgot their name. Awesome animals, I'll show you once I get back home. But in here I've got a big hollow log, a couple of rocks and whatnot. I still need to put a uh, styrofoam box in here, obviously paint it up, whatnot, to make it look somewhat nice. Um, as it is getting a little bit colder out here to, like, you know, starting to become a bit colder. Uh, but these fellas were originally outside, um, so they won't have any problems at all. They're, you know, all good out here, but that's their setup. Nothing too fancy, just, you know, temp not temporary, but it'll be, it'll be nice for them. And then you haven't seen these pits. I have recently built these pits. They're obviously not finished, um, but I got some blotch blue tongues in here. Um, got one there. One's actually just there. The big nails just there. So that's their pit. Nothing fancy again. And then I've got my easterns in here. Nothing fancy there either. Um, and then I've got my lace monitor in that aviary there as you can see so he's pretty cool he's been with me for a long time now um but yeah these are the pits the avery and um yeah i'm yet to set everything else up properly uh so yeah i'll show you these other babies and these are the reptiles i got from get Sloth reptiles um so i got this enclosure as well from the vhs expo very cheap uh, very happy with it too. So just in here we've got literally just a simple, simple setup. And in here houses my four baby New England Cunninghams. So there they are, awesome little animals. So I went to the expo wanting Cunninghams and I certainly got my share of Cunninghams. So that's just their setup. Nothing, nothing crazy. Um, 
awesome animals though. Absolutely love them. And yeah, that's what I got from Dead Sloth Reptiles. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And over here, I have just a really simple setup. I bred some baby blotches this year. Um, and then I got given this one. Well, I actually traded it with Bobby, my mate. Nice looking alpine baby. Beautiful. So thank you, Bobby. And then here's one I produced. I produced six this season, but uh, three passed away. It wasn't a very, very good litter, but that's one that I produced deep in shed at the minute. Uh, and then I've got the runt in here as well. He's, uh, I'm surprised he's actually still kicking because the size of him is just tiny compared to uh, that one, as you can see, tiny. I also got some of these given to me to try out. Pop-up chameleon. I've got one set up outside that housed the Cunninghams for a bit while I set up the, uh, the outdoor aviary. But this is obviously the 2 by one by 70, uh, 0.75. I uh, haven't set this one up yet, um, but the other one is set up outside, so I'll show you that. Out here, I have the pop-up chameleon. Um, obviously, nothing's in it right now, uh, but they're really easy to set up. This is the one by one. Um, as I said, how's me Cunninghams? Opens by the zip. I'll do a proper video by itself on these. Um, and you just fill it up with substrate, rocks, whatever you want. And yeah, like, very, very simple design. Very easy to set up and break down. Uh, it's obviously pegged down right now outside of my house. But yeah, I, I'm i really thrilled with these. So uh, thanks again, Pop-Up Chameleon. Appreciate it very much. And uh, hope you enjoy the video and we'll get back to you.